The pilot is conscious and stable, the Ministry of Defense said in a Facebook post on Wednesday, May 8 night. He underwent a full medical examination and revealed no major injuries. The pilot, who has 2,000 flying hours on the F-16 aircraft, said he encountered flight control issues upon lifting off the runway at Tenga Air Base for a routine training flight. RSAF has temporarily suspended training for the F-16 aircraft fleet until investigations show it is safe to resume. Detailed investigations are ongoing and updates will be provided. The pilot of the F-16 fighter jet, which crashed at Tenga Air Base on Wednesday, May 8 afternoon, managed to eject from the aircraft before the crash, said the Republic of Singapore Air Force RSAF in a Facebook post. The aircraft reportedly suffered an issue during takeoff at 12.35 p.m. and the pilot responded in accordance with emergency procedures, it added. The pilot is conscious and able to walk and is receiving medical attention. And no other personnel were hurt due to the crash. The RSAF is responding to the situation and detailed investigations are ongoing. MINDEF and the RSAF will provide updates on the incident as soon as they become available. Ashuan was at Tenga Air Base at around 3.30 p.m. but did not see the crash site. Ashuan has reached out to MINDEF for comment. In a Facebook post at 4.44 p.m., Defence Minister Ying Ying Hang updated that the pilot has undergone a full medical exam in hospital including a CT scan. No serious injuries were detected, he is ambulant, conscious, and talking. But as a precaution, we'll stay in hospital for observation, he wrote. His alertness and compliance to safety procedures to eject saved his life. Dr. Ng added that he was disappointed over the incident. The last fighter jet incident was 20 years ago, one which he described as a credible record. The goal for the RSAF must still be zero crashes. He said. Singapore has operated the F-16 for more than 30 years. The crash jet was an F-16C single-C aircraft and is the fourth loss of an RSAF F-16 since the tight entered service in the late 1980s. The Straits Times reported. Back on May 19, 2004, an RSAF F 16C crashed at Arizona in the US. The pilot, 25 year old Lieutenant Brandon Lu Kuang Hon, was killed in the crash. On September 30, 2010, an RSAF AH 64 Apache helicopter made an emergency landing in an open field between Woodlands Avenue 12 and Woodlands Drive 64 after encountering engine problems. The tail section of the helicopter was damaged during the landing, but both pilots were unhurt. The RSAF's F-16 fleet was recently upgraded to improve their target location and ground attack capabilities and keep them operationally ready until the mid-2030s, reported Channel News Asia. The F-16 fleet will eventually be replaced by the F-35 family of jets, said the RSAF in February last year.